Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone Amani here, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing great myself, alhamdulillah And I am ready to share another story with you But let's sing a little song before we begin And for that song, it's, uh, it's easy to learn And for that song, I will need to teach you a few actions Are you ready? So it's a song about a kitty cat It's a cute kitty cat and can you show me your whiskers and the feet and then what do cats hunt they hunt mice and they're kind of sneaky when they do so and do you think mice will be happy when they see a cat come in no a little bit a little scared well a lot scared very scared frightened right <laughs> okay so the song goes like this and I need you to copy my actions and we'll sing it twice. So if you don't get the hang of it the first time, that's okay. You can practice it again with me the second time. Ready? It goes like this. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. When I go hunting mice, beware or you might just get a scare. Let's do it one more time. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. When I go hunting mice, beware. Or you might just get a scare. <laughs> Was that easy for you guys? You guys, mashallah, you guys are so smart. And you got the hang of it. Nice. All right, now let's take one deep breath before we start our story. How about that? Let's do it. Let's raise our arms up, take a deep breath and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let it all out. Let all of the air out. That's how your body relaxes. Now sit comfortably and get ready for the story. Open your listening ears and your story watching eyes. Okay, let's begin. Today's story is called Helping Others by Diane. And when we start something, we say Bismillah. Helping Others. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ali and Saliha had come home from school and were playing and running around in the front yard. All of a sudden, Ali fell over. Oh, are you hurt? Saliha asked. Yes, said Ali, trying not to show his pain, but his knee was scratched and it was really, really hurting. Saliha helped Ali to walk to the front of the house. You wait here, Ali. I'll get you something from the first aid kit to fix that scratch, said Saliha. Saliha rushed back and started to clean up Ali's wound. She was very careful not to make a mess as she put the ointment on Ali's knee. She then put a bandage on his knee to cover the wound. Shazakillahu khairan, Saliha. Wa iyaakum. Inshallah, you'll get better soon. Ali smiled. He was glad to have a nice big sister like Saliha. Soon, Ali was back up on his feet, running around again. This time, Saliha was helping him learn how to roller skate. Saliha likes to help Ali with lots of things. Uh, she helps him to get books from the bookshelf when he cannot reach them. She, well, Ali is also too young to pour the milk for their pet cat, so Saliha helps him out. Saliha also taught Ali how to tie his shoelaces. MashaAllah. Ali loves his sister and he's blessed to have a caring big sister like Saliha. The end. Now, what does this story teach you to do? To help others. Should you only help people you know? No, you should help anyone as long as you are able to do so. Did you know that Allah, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that whoever helps someone, Allah helps him? 
That's right. There is a hadith and I'll read it to you now. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون أخي It means Allah will help someone if someone helps others. And Allah's help can come in many ways. He can help you by making you very strong or very smart or very brave and very cute and lovable, right? So don't forget to always help others. And the best thing to do and to start by is by helping your parents and your family. Okay? So don't leave your dishes behind when you're done eating. Help your mom and dad by picking up your dishes and clearing up the table and putting them in the sink. Help your parents when they're doing the laundry. Help your parents when they're grocery shopping by carrying some of the bags for them. As long as they're not too heavy. Okay? I'm so glad I got to share this story with you today. And I will see you inshallah at another, with another story. So now I will say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to you.